What's up guys, Miles here with 9to5Mac, and today we're going to be taking a look at another Thunderbolt 3 dock, this time it's from Corsair. This is the TBT100 dock, and we're going to review it. If you weren't aware, Corsair actually owns Elgato, who makes the Thunderbolt 3 Pro dock that we reviewed here on the channel, twice. Uh, Jeff sent this to me for what I assume to be review purposes, and I did, but I guess he already did so months prior, and I just didn't know. But anyway, the TBT100 in my eyes is a slightly less expensive alternative to the Thunderbolt 3 Pro dock, and I'll explain why. As far as what you get in the box for the Thunderbolt 3 dock, you've got the dock itself, an AC adapter, and then a 27 inch Thunderbolt 3 cable. The TBT100 is designed very similarly to the Thunderbolt 3 Pro dock, except this time around you've got much more angular edges and sharper curves, giving it a much more gamer friendly design. However, it's also noticeably larger than the Thunderbolt 3 Pro dock, which is odd because the TBT100 is technically less capable, but it hasn't been an issue at all fitting this dock in the same spot where my Elgato dock normally is. It's got two rubber feet in the bottom so it doesn't slide around, which is nice to see. Another standout difference between this and the Elgato dock is the inclusion of an LED power button here in the front. I've never felt as though a power button was necessary for a Thunderbolt dock, but it's cool to have that option. The TBT100 overall offers a premium design and sturdy chassis just like its cousin. The IO for this dock is pretty well balanced and going to be plenty for most people just looking for expansion. Here in the front we've got a USB-C 3.1 port and this port can support speeds up to 10 gigabits per second and supports 1.5 amps power power output. So while you're not going to be able to plug in a Thunderbolt 3 device, you could easily plug in an external SSD here and use it as a scratch disk for editing video, or for storing games. When plugging in a USB-C external SSD, I got around 850 megabytes read and 750 megabytes write speeds, which is acceptable for a port that isn't Thunderbolt enabled, that's still faster than your average SATA SSD. Next to the Type-C port is a full-sized SD card slot, and most USB-C docks I see, whether they're Thunderbolt 3 or not, usually come with a paired micro and full size slots, but the SD card slot here supports UHS-2 cards, so it gets a pass. All the way at the end here, there's a 3.5 millimeter combo stereo out port, and this is gonna work great for your average pair of headphones. I actually hooked up my 250 ohm biodynamic headphones into these, and the dock was actually able to drive them at a decent volume, given I had to crank the volume all the way up. On the back side, we've got two USB-A 3.1 ports that can individually support 5 gigabit per second speeds and 1.5 amp power output, and they support wake on USB and booting over USB as well. The TB200 has naturally got a gigabit ethernet port, uh, and this is something to expect from nearly every stationary dock these days, and while it isn't 10 gigabit, it's still nice to have. We've got an additional USB-C 3.1 port with 10 gigabit per second speed support and 1.5 amp power output, and then we've got two HDMI 2.0 ports, and these ports will individually support monitors up to a 4K resolution at 60 hertz. I would have found it much more beneficial for them to have an HDMI and a display port instead of just two HDMIs. I think it'd be a bit more useful for users overall, offering a little bit more versatility, uh, because a lot of people using high-end monitors require display ports, so not having that option is a bummer, but I think anyone buying this dock should be able to make do with adapters. Then lastly, we've got a Thunderbolt 3 port, which is what you'd use to connect this dock to the computer. And this supports the full 40 gigabits per second speeds, as well as having power output up to 85 watts. So if you've either got a 13 or 15 inch MacBook, then you'd be good to go here, getting a full charge from one cable. And at the very end here, besides the AC input, is a Kensington lock slot. The TBT100 has software to use alongside the dock called the Corsair Thunderbolt Dock Utility. This is simply just software made to properly eject the dock from the computer in order to protect any storage devices or peripherals that you've got connected to the dock. The Elgato dock we reviewed a while ago has the same thing, so there's nothing really new here. As far as general usability, this dock performs identically to the Elgato Thunderbolt dock that I reviewed last year. I have no issues connecting this to any of my devices and peripherals, uh, and I've mainly been using this dock to support a separate setup I've got for my MacBook Air, and it's been great for that. My general issue with this dock, however, is that for the price of $259, I feel as though there should be a secondary Thunderbolt 3 port. When comparing this dock to the Caljigit TS3 Plus, you're essentially getting the same I.O. on that dock as you do on the Elgato Thunderbolt 3 Pro dock and a smaller overall form factor for less money. The TS3 Plus has four USB-C ports, with two of them being Thunderbolt enabled, 
as well as having DisplayPort and USB-A ports. There are some people who might not need an extra Thunderbolt 3 port at all, but if you've got a Thunderbolt 3 enabled display or a Thunderbolt 3 SSD that you want to hook up, you're essentially out of luck. And yes, you may have an extra Thunderbolt port on your computer itself, but then that kind of defeats the purpose, which is for it to be all in one. So given that, I don't really find this dock competitive for the current price point, but for maybe $60 to $80 less, this is a great option for those looking for a solid Thunderbolt 3 dock with a sleek design. If you want to check out the TBT100 dock, it'll be the first link in the description down below. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe for future content like this, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.